hey guys, we're here uh, with Yvonne Anderson. Um, we are continuing our march towards Food Pro 23. And Yvonne's going to be, um, I think you're either speaking or a panelist, right? Um, at, uh, at Food Pro? Speaking. Speaking. Awesome. Um, and, and so we are looking forward to getting to know Yvonne just like you guys are. Um, she is with uh, Santa Via. Um, I think I got that mostly right. I screw up names all the time. So, so this is the most terrifying part of introducing people is I'm going to get the names all wrong. Uh, but um, she's going to tell us about that as well. But, um, you know, pretty interested to hear about about you, Yvonne, and, and really nice to meet you. Thank you. It's great to be here. Uh, so Santa Via, which is a compound name, Sante meaning health and Via meaning way. So Santa Via water system started because of a health problem. So common when uh, in natural health that we as entrepreneurs start because a health problem. My husband had chronic acid reflux. The doctor said medication for life. And I said, no, that proton pump inhibitor medication has so many side effects, including kidney cancer. And I said, no. So let's find the root cause. And of course, acid reflux, our bodies are actually naturally alkaline. So he was too acidic. So we went on a journey to figure out what he needed to do. And of course, he needed to eat better, he needed to um, be more active in a consistent way. But he also needed to change his beverage to mostly water. And of course, we need to drink a lot more water. And what we need to do is drink clean, mineralized and naturally alkaline water in our health regime. And water is the basis. We are, as human beings, 70% water. Our muscles are 80% water and our brains are 90% water. And yet we put so much stuff in our body, stuff my husband loved, like coffee, which is dehydrating, like Coke, like sodas and anything bubbly. So we went on this journey. It was easy to find him a fitness trainer. It was easy to find him a nutritionist. But what was hard was to find that water. And that kind of healthy water was $5,000, $6,000 for a machine or, or um, bottled water, which we are really green people and single use plastic bo water bottles just wasn't gonna work for us. And so in our journey to get him healthy, we discovered that the world, especially here in Canada, we could use a system that created naturally mineralized and alkaline water. So Santa Via Water Systems was born. My husband got healthy, hasn't had chronic acid reflux since that very beginning time. And so we've actually cured him of that by what you eat, what you drink, and what you do. And those three basics, which are the underlying structure of our health, is what we need just to be healthy human beings. And so I have a healthy husband and I have a healthy business, which is very cool. But at the same time in our journey, we realized there, and a huge important thing is not just for us to be healthy, but for everyone in the world to be healthy and to have access to clean drinking water. And Hard to believe, but even today, one in eight people in the world does not have access to clean drinking water. And so we went on a philanthropy journey as we started the company, as we built the company. So at the beginning, our philanthropy was small, and now it's much bigger. And so I really, as I evolve in this business, as I evolve, this is a family business, and as I evolve as CEO, and we have a very stable com com uh, company right now. And what we do is we manufacture water filtration systems that are optimized for health. The cool thing is, is we manufacture them right here in British Columbia. And we manufacture in Delta, BC. And like I like to say, we are Brita, but better because we take out the bad stuff like almost all water systems do, but we put back in the good stuff. 
calcium, magnesium, trace minerals, which make the water mineralized, but naturally alkaline. And that's good for health and it makes the water taste better. And when the water tastes better, guess what? You drink more water. So that's what we're all about. And in the meantime, we're all about bringing clean drinking water to the world. So for every water system that we sell, we give 100 days of clean drinking water to people in water poverty. And we actually focus our energy in Uganda because in Uganda, one in four people don't have access to clean drinking water. A country Absolutely. like ours, right? Like a country like we've got we water. Every, we were actually water. at mm. the beginning of this, we were complaining about how much rain we get, right? <laughs> so yeah. it's uh, it's craziness that that um, they they just don't have access to something like that. Canada has the largest amount of clean fresh water in the world. I know we are so blessed, just so blessed, and. As I say to other entrepreneurs, our goal, yeah, our goal is to provide a needed product, to make money, and to give back. It's all three. And we need to provide something that is worthwhile for our bodies, for people, but we also need to give back. And so, of course, we own a water company. And I watch that water help make my husband healthy. Mm. And I have seen it. We've got anecdotal uh, evidence from thousands of people telling us how the water has improved their life and their health. But I still look at kids in Uganda walking three to six kilometers a day, carrying those yellow jerry cans on their head. And they're getting water that can give them typhoid fever. And that's what they're drinking. Mm. And so we need to, as entrepreneurs, as people in the health space, as people who bring food and beverages to the people of North America and the people of the world, we also need to remember there's a lot of people in this world that don't have access to clean drinking water or enough food, enough calories in a day to survive. And in fact, we have children in Uganda die every day because they get typhoid fever and they, they don't survive it. So, 100 days of clean water. That's really cool. So, how, really how love does that, that idea. So I'm yeah. trying to figure that part out too. So, I, can, I got a couple of quick questions because this is supposed to be a fast one. We can actually do a podcast one day because I'd be <laughs> a little more fascinated to sort of get into it. So, the water, you know, because we're in Vancouver and we're always, you know, well, two of us are, um, you know, it's always touted as, you know, we've got some of the best water in the world, blah, 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 blah. So if I'm drinking tap all day, like what am I not getting or what am I getting that, I, what am I not getting that I should get and what am I getting that I shouldn't get? So a couple of things, when you're drinking tap water, all tap water has chlorine in it. Right. And chlorine is uh, necessary to bring the water to you from all of the pipes from right. the uh, reservoirs that we have we have access to a lot of great water but it's got to get to you and so that chlorine actually really affects your microbiome and we talk a lot about our stomach and our microbiome and think about chlorine is like a bottle of bleach and you get a drop every day you're drinking a bottle of bleach in your lifetime. And that's part of what's affecting your microbiome. And that we know is now related to our immune system and all sorts of other things. So we that one of the things that we don't want is that chlorine every day. We also don't want lead. And our aging infrastructure, the pipes, et cetera, are bringing a trace of lead and lead is an endocrine disruptor. It can actually affect our brain. It right. can affect lots of things. So those are two, there's a lot of little things, but those are two big things. We don't want chlorine. We don't want lead in our water, but what we do want is calcium, magnesium, and trace minerals. And when we treat water, we actually remove a lot of that, but we actually need that because if you drank from a fresh mountain stream, that's what you get. You get clean water and you get mineralized water. Right. So that's what you do want. 
Interesting. Wow. Interesting. Um, I, I have a question as well, because I, I, I think, you know, what, what you do is, is so one, the, the giving back stuff I think is amazing. And then I think even getting to a place and, and figuring out, um, what your husband needed to kind of get healthy again, I think is amazing. What, what did you do before this, before? Yeah. Like how'd you get here? Yeah. Ah, I yes. mean, I understand the health aspect, but seriously, yeah. I mean, it's, that's, I mean, it's good so, that Chase, you helped him, but most people don't go that far. Well, so my background is in natural health and uh, I am a, uh, I've got a lot of biochemistry background, but I'm a kinesiologist. Right. Okay. And so that's my background. I have a master's degree in leadership. So when I love tackling problems like this, and so the background that I had, uh, even though sometimes you don't understand why you have that background, and then all of a sudden a problem like this comes up and you go, okay, I can deal with this. I just need to do this research. I can, too bad I didn't have chat GPT back then, but <laughs> the research was a little harder, but I could do it. Right. And figure out all of this. I learned so much about our microbiome. I learned so much about acid alkaline balance. I learned that our bodies are 7.36, which is just slightly alkaline. But when we slide down that slippery slope of acidic acidosis and inflammation are the underlying cause of all chronic disease. And so all of this learning came into a, uh, a place of we just need homeostasis and homeostasis is balance. And so our life is not about, yeah, my red wine and my chocolate that I love are both acidic, but I have to balance that out with some lovely water that's alkaline and some food, like just all of our greens, eat your greens. Right. And so it doesn't mean that we don't deal with acidic stuff. It means that we balance. And so the whole thing's really holistically is about balance. Cool. It's super. I, you know the thing is, I have so many drag, more questions. But, this, but, I know uh, that's my problem right now. Yeah, we can yeah. drag this problem. Yeah. We can do a full podcast. Oh gosh. Um, which we, we really should. We'll, like, we'll send you a link to do that. But yeah, yeah. I think I yeah. think for the for the purposes of what we've done, I think you are fascinating. I I really would love to have an hour with you, um, if you don't mind. So we could we'd love to oh. reinvite you back on. Yeah, I'd love really to do that sometimes. I'm dying mm -hmm. to sort of go through. Yeah. Um, and then we can tell the story in a bit longer sense. Yeah. But really appreciate this. I, I mean, I think people should come to listen to you. I leaders fast. Yeah. It's a cool story. I, so, I was gonna say, so if you're going to Food Pro, you have to. Now now you've you've got to come see Yvonne, yeah. right? Like one is there's a natural health background that's so fascinating to get to. She's decoded um, you know, probably something that there are hundreds of thousands of people that are probably on medication that, you know, maybe could lighten it there up. Are, maybe not there are all some alter up. alternatives that, you know, the, the ordinary person wouldn't go, no, I'm not taking a prescription. I'm going to go figure this out. Right. Um, Cause either they don't have the capacity or they just don't have the knowledge. Um, and then we, what we haven't touched on it at all at, at all is the kind of the juggernaut behind the scenes. Right. Like, so, a water company sounds amazing and everything, but um, there's hardware. There's there's uh, there's you know there's there's plastic. Um, there's so much there's, competition there's in water. Water containers that you got to manage. There's water filters you got to figure out. How did you get to engineering those? I looked at really briefly like the cartridges and how they're set up, and you kind of go, you know. So if you're going to food pro. You got to go. Otherwise, you're not going to get these answers from Yvonne. So, um, but Yvonne, thank you for coming you. on. And then we, we will definitely have you back as so yeah. many questions. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, you guys. And I yeah. hope to see you at Food Pro. I hope to see you at Food Pro. Yeah. We'll be there. Awesome. All right. Great. Thanks, Yvonne. Thanks so much. Thanks. Take care. Okay. You too. Bye. Bye.